And I'm going to select the brush tool, soft, soft brush, and the opacity 100. And I'm going to paint some shadows on the woman. Don't forget to select the foreground to black. And I'm going to paint some shadows right here. I'm going to lower the opacity to 50 and paint a little more. Lower the opacity to 21. And we're gonna have something like this. Next, I'm going to select the woman and I'm gonna right click and rasterize layer. With the brush tool selected, I'm going to paint some shadows or, or some dark on the fingers. Then 
just like that. Now I'm going to get the burn tool with 60% of exposure and range mid tones and I'm going to darken this a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back with the shadow layer and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur this with, let me put 3, so just put 3 there, click OK. So now we're gonna insert the fire, the candle fire. So grab this and drag it to the Photoshop select the rectangular marker tool and we're going to select this area Control j to duplicate that i go to the move tool and grab that and move it to the layer we're working on so make sure to put this on top of the on top of all layers Control t to transform here, click here to click the aspect ratio and right here I'm just going to put 10 and I'm going to resize that image to fit on the candle change the blend mode to a screen and just move this like this click ok and if you notice that it's a little big make it smaller that simple like that Control J to duplicate that three times two times and move that to the other side Control T to transform right click and flip horizontal click ok and there you go go to the middle one and move it to the next candle select the eraser tool 100% opacity and delete and delete this so once you have that you can merge those layers together by uh, clicking on the top one press shift and click on the last one and control E to merge them you're gonna be you're gonna see that they go back to normal just change it back to a screen and that's it so we're gonna make a new layer and we're gonna select the brush tool and select the orange color light yellow orange and we're going to paint on the woman but to do that press control key and click on the woman thumbnail to make the selection and now we can paint on the woman without painting anything else opacity to 100 and just paint like this this is like the reflection of the light that the candles is generating so just put it like that change the blend mode to soft light and move the opacity around 45 it looks better so next I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to paint dark on the left side of the woman so we're gonna make a selection on the woman again by pressing the control key and clicking on the thumbnail 
and with the brush to select it we're gonna lower the opacity to around 25 26 and paint like this just on the left side And we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit by 80% and control D to deselect. So this is what we have right now. I'm going to add some hue and saturation to the candle layer. And I'm going to put this as a clipping mask and saturation about Let me see, let me see. About 15. So now we're gonna bring the last image that is gonna be this dragon. And we're gonna put it there. I'm gonna change the blend mode to screen. I'm gonna move this right here, move it up. And click OK. I'm gonna add some brightness and contrast as a clipping mask and the brightness I'm going to put minus 150. That's gonna blend that image more with the background. Now we're gonna make shift E and we're gonna go to filter lens correction custom and right here on vignette we're gonna move this all the way to the left and we're gonna click OK. So now I'm gonna add some dash and burn layer and I'm going to burn what it's gonna be necessary so I'm gonna burn burn right here just to make this a little bit darker And now I'm going to change to dash two. And let's touch or make some areas brighter. So now let's add some photo filter and I'm going to select this cooling filter 80 and the percent is going to be 50. So this is the end result guys I hope you like it and so I hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to comment if you have any questions subscribe if you haven't like this video share and see you next time bye bye.